This is literally all he does now. <laughs> Just on his phone, looking at the hurricane. I don't know. It's an obsession. <laughs> you gotta stop! You gotta stop! Even Sunny wants you to stop. All right, Sunny. So, for the last few days, we've been dealing with nothing but straight hurricane talk. Hurricane, every single hurricane. moment, every single thing has been about the hurricane. And it's driving us crazy. All he does is look at his phone about the hurricane. All I do is think about the hurricane. I freak out, I panic, I cry, I come back to my senses, I stop worrying, I go back to panicking. Like, I can't deal with it anymore. So, we're gonna watch a movie. We're gonna watch it. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna eat and we're gonna have fun for a little bit at least. And enjoy our night. Take our mind off of things. We're back at Dolphin Mall, yeah. Honestly, this movie could not have come in a better time because as much as I've been looking forward to this, like, I needed this right now. As expected, the movie theaters are pretty empty today. I mean, it is a weekday and there is a hurricane coming. <laughs> We're about to eat some crepes. I got the chicken Caesar crepe and he got the Alfredo, Alfredo. chicken Alfredo. That looks really delicious. Take your bites. <laughs> and now we are the only people at the bar here at the Buffalo Wild Wings. They're closing up, but we just needed a little something to pick us up. A little pick me up. <laughs> we came to get a drink to take our mind off of things, but if you look right here, there's the news. It's like we can't escape it. I'm gonna get a fortune and a prize. Let's see. I have no like idea what to even do. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Imagine it gives us our fortune and it says like you're gonna get it. <laughs> you ain't got Ooh, that. Yeah. What the? That's real. Oh, it's, it's like a, a fortune cookie. But then you also get a fortune. Right. What does it say? <laughs> You'll be unusually successful in business. <laughs> On YouTube. <laughs> unusually, I like huh. that. Time to see it. It. The movie, it. it. Not just it, but it's the movie. Ooh. Is this her? This is it. It's happening. There's all I bet you have a lot of friends. Three. But my brother's my best ex. Where is he? So the movie was really good. It was a very good distraction. It kept us distracted for at least a little while. And now we're back on like freaking out again. Um, yeah. <laughs> Not sure what's gonna happen tomorrow, the day after. My mom's calling me freaking out saying that the hurricane's getting looking worse and that we're gonna get hit even harder than we thought. And I don't even know. So all I know is that the movie was good. I enjoyed the characters. I really enjoyed the scare jumps and like I thought silly. I thought it was really silly but yeah. like in that right kind of way that it was like fun so I'm glad we saw it but um unfortunately we still have to deal with life and reality so let's see what happens next it's 11 o'clock at night so we came to put gas you know assuming that the line would be a lot better now and it actually is on this side, but on that side, it's like a super long line. Like literally, I think what, like 10 cars? 20. I think 20 cars? Yeah. So I came around to this side, what is it? I don't get it, like on this side, nobody comes by yeah, this side? Know. Our phones keep going off for this emergency alert about the hurricane. Right now, this is what the map is looking like. And it definitely looks like it's gonna pass right through us. So let's see. What's up, Charlie? Now you can really see that all the houses have shutters or are boarded up. There's like pretty much, I would say like 95% of the houses are boarded up. 
maybe 90%, which is a lot more than it was yesterday. We found a CVS that's actually open. It is Thursday, Friday? <laughs> Today's Friday, it's 5.42, almost six, and CVS luckily by my house is still open so that we can get like some last minute stuff. <laughs> Never mind. They closed at 2 p.m. No! We're in front of um, open? Sushi Saki. Open? It says fresh suki, best fried rice. I don't know what is happening over there. Let's see if Chipotle is still open. I'm hoping if Chipotle is open. I want Chipotle. Everything's closed already. We were really hoping Chipotle would be open, but they're closed. Open. I think, yeah, McDonald's might be actually open. But um, actually, Publix is still open, so we're gonna go to Publix and see if we can get something to, to make at home to eat. It still looks like there's some gas. Oh, that's cool some gas stations, that's good. And look at all these cars with their plywood. <laughs> Luckily, Publix is open and we can get some last minute things in here. So Publix is like taking out all their canned stuff right now. And the bread aisle is actually like really empty. This is kind of crazy. All the cheap bread is gone. All the cheap bread is gone. And look, all the, all the water is still gone. It's crazy. We're gonna get tacos. I want steak. <laughs> really? Steak? Had so much I mean, I don't mind. I just really want tacos. This is like the toilet paper aisle. And as you can see, people have stocked up on toilet paper. It's Friday evening and we're at Scully's because the party, party don't stop just because of the hurricane. Woohoo! Didn't let the show go on. And you wouldn't believe that the day before a hurricane and everybody's just hanging out here at Scully's like nothing. This is the skip with hospitality. He's invited all of his airboat buddies to join us for a full-on Everglades meal. Oh, by the way, there's a little challenge that's been put out to my younger son today. He made a deal yep. that uh, he will be willing to try one bite of everything that's going to be prepared tonight. And when Chef Chris is cooking, you know that so farm raised means they're really getting the, the ability to feed what they want to feed. Exactly. Because so you gotta remember, if they're eating something dead and nasty and rotten, it comes out in the flavor of the meat. What do you think they're feeding these, Chris? Chicken. Oh, I thought they were feeding them. So are you, are you excited about the hurricane? No comment. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so pumped. I can't wait. Can't wait. Bring it on. Can't wait. I see you listen to the bar myself. Today's the music ain't that the same song. Give me that old summer rock and roll. It's almost 2 a.m. and we're already starting to get a lot of rain. At least a little bit of rain. I mean not a lot. Not yet. Yeah. Okay, now it's raining just a little harder. Run away, I've got to. We are on the way now to where we're gonna stay at. We've got a bird in the back, Charlie in the front. I mean, Charlie. Charlie. Oops, Coco in the front. <laughs> I'm thinking about Charlie. And it's already starting to look pretty, pretty ugly. So things are still calm right now and we are at the house that we will be staying at, my uncle's house. And they got their shutters up. So I think we'll be good. This is the before and I guess later we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll be looking at the after. Hopefully it's not too bad. I assume some trees will be down. Those little baby trees for sure. But At least um, this tree looks big and strong. So yeah, this tree, I don't think it's gonna fall. If anything, a branch could break. That's the worst thing. I hope we're not gonna happen. like look at this later and be like, the tree's down. But I think this tree should be good. It's yeah. been here forever. It's pretty sh sturdy. Yeah, I mean it's an old tree, so that means it survived tons of storms. So right now, this is the backyard. This is the before. There's a lot of trees. There's like avocado trees and mango and mame and I don't know what else, coconuts. So let's see what survives. <laughs> Coco, 